Hello and welcome back to my channel guys. I am continuing with my decluttering my lipstick series. Here's the thing, I brought all, like literally all of my lipstick over to my parents last weekend and hmm, my hair's fun, what's happening in there? Anyway, so I brought all my lipstick over to my parents' house last weekend and mom took a lot of it, like surprisingly. I didn't think that she would want a lot of it, so um, she really surprised me, but I'm very, very happy to give it to my mother because she's my mama. And so if she wants some lipstick, she can have some lipstick. So I've already decluttered. But I did say next I would go through uh, my reds, and so I'm still going to go over the um, the reds, and I think there's like oranges in here too. I kind of lumped them together because some meet in the middle, as you can see. And just go through and talk to you about some of the things that are my favorite in the red-orange lipstick category. Real quick, I just bought these two. I'm currently wearing the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. This is in the color Flame of the Game, which I love. And I'm gonna have to pick up more of these because I really, really, really like this. And it was like $5. And I also uh, recently picked up the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid. This is in the color Orange Shot. I haven't given this a fair shot yet. I haven't given the orange shot a fair shot. <laughs> it's, I'll let you know later if this is any good or not. Diving in to my old reliables, my tried and trues, my uh, things I have duplicates of. Okay, so I can call this a declutter because I have two of these. So this is the um, Shiseido Lacquer Rouge. Oh, it's a gloss. If I'm doing red, I really, I want to do a matte red. I'm not into the glossy red. The color's pretty. I don't know about this. I'm going to definitely give one away because I have two, but we'll see what happens with the rest of this here. I have the NYX High Voltage Lipstick. This is kind of more of a brown. Okay, so that actually belongs in the purple category. That's more of like a purpley brown color. Okay, this one, this is, I don't even know. Look how old this is, it's all faded off. Don't judge me, real quickly, I'm gonna tell you why I still have this. This is a L'Oreal, uh, the high intensity, high intensity <laughs> pigment. Uh, this is in the color Turbulent. This is super duper old. I don't use this on my lips. I actually keep this around because I use this for fake blood <laughs> if I'm doing like a Halloween or like scary makeup. This makes fabulous <laughs> fake blood. Fun fact about this one. What do we have next? Oh, this is one of my favorite, favorite lipsticks that I own. This is the Lime Crime Velveteen. It's in the color Wicked. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. It's like a really deep kind of more brown red. This stuff stays put. It stays so well and I just love the way it dries down. I love the formula and I know people hate on Lime Crime but they've never really done me wrong. I'm just such a huge fan of those Velveteens. Oh my gosh. I have the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. This is another more recent purchase. I keep buying things while I'm trying to get rid of things and it makes no sense. These smell so fruity. And this is another one, the formula feels really good and I love the color and I love everything about these. These were on sale at Walgreens last week. It was buy one, get one free. I was telling anybody who would listen, like go get you some. I got four for like $16. You really can't beat that. Next we have Clinique. This is the Pop Matte Lip Color in Ruby Pop. It's a very pretty, kind of more summery. Little pinky, little orangey. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm actually going to buy this, I think, for my mom, because uh, she really liked it too. Thank you, Clinique, for figuring out my Mother's Day gifts to mom. <laughs> this red is my ride or die. I have been using it forever. I have two sticks of these because I love it so much. This is the Sephora brand, and I can't really find any other information on it. What the heck? Okay, here we go. It's a Sephora Rouge in the color Hot Tango. This, I mean, this has gotten some use. These stay on my face forever. And it's a cream base, like it's not even a matte liquid. Like this is the best staying lipstick I've ever used 
in my life and people always comment too when I wear them I get all kinds of compliments on like the color and people are always like oh my god how is that still on your face after like 12 hours and I'm like I don't know Sephora <laughs> so I highly 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 recommend picking that one up and I think they're only like $12 or at least they were at the time there's my other Sephora one I have the NYX matte lipstick. This is in the color Indie Flick and this is another like orange. I'm very into these lately. That is orange, that's popping. I really like the formula too. I like it better than the matte velvets. The matte velvets are not my favorite because um, again, it feels like you're drawing on your face with a crayon, which I don't really appreciate, but Again, like their colors are so good. Um, so this is the matte velvet and volcano. Pretty color. Not so pretty formula. What I really need to do is just find color dupes for all of these that I like the formula for, so I can just keep those and get rid of these because I just can't bring myself to get rid of them because I like the colors so much. But uh. Here's a red I'm never getting rid of in my entire life because this is another Star Wars edition. This is the CoverGirl Force Awakens. This is, um, I guess, number 30. Again, nothing has a name. Like, nothing says anything in this packaging. So, that's all you get. This was from the Light Side collection. This is a really pretty holiday color because it's got a little bit of um, sparkle in it. If you can tell, if it's gonna focus, I don't think it did. But this is what it looks like. I, I keep feeling like I'm about to do hand puppets. Like, hello, this is my lipstick. I'm a hoarder. Have a great day. Moving on, I have color pops. These are, I have the ultra satin lip in the color wink. Um, this is not so red, but I included it in the red category. But it's pretty. This is, I guess, more in the purple pink I don't know where would you put this pink probably I swear I don't know what I was thinking when I categorized some of these um, so I'm keeping this I really like the satin lips too this is the first like ultra satin that I purchased and I'm a fan and this is another ultra satin in the color notion and this is definitely not red like what am I doing but it's pretty and I like it and I'm keeping it Really though, ColourPop can just take all my money because they're doing such a fantastic job with everything lately right now, I feel like. Um, let's do this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is in the color Morocco. There you go, another hot summer color. I have this NYX Liquid Suede in the color Orange County and this is like straight up orange. <laughs> like orange. I don't wear this often, but I really don't have anything else in my collection like this. So, I mean, it looks kind of similar on camera, but it does not in person. So I'm gonna keep this one. Got rid of anything yet? Oh, I had duplicates of the one. Okay. <laughs> the next one I have, let me get this off before it dries, is the, uh, who makes this? Who made it? I can't see. I have no clue. Maybe Cover Girl? Just because the packaging, I'm gonna guess this is Cover Girl because um, at the packaging, because the packaging is really similar to the Star Wars. It's like, well, it's like exactly the same minus the color. So I'm gonna guess this is a Cover Girl. This is uh, 355 Tempt Seduction. I haven't used this very much. It's okay. This is kind of more of a pinky red color. Next, I have the Revlon Moondrops lipstick uh, in the color orange flip. And this is what it looks like right here. Um, this might be kind of old. I have no idea how old this is. However, the packaging looks like it's probably kind of old. So I feel like I should get rid of this one. Ooh. Next I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Copenhagen. And would you look at that, it's more of a purple. This looks kind of like, hold on. Oh, the color pop is darker. So that's the NYX versus the color pop. Let's look at the other one though, because 
I'm also really like, I'm also trying real, real hard to look for duplicates in my collection. So dang it, it's not the same. So maybe I could get rid of something. But you can see that ColourPop formula is so opaque. And this soft matte lip cream is just okay. And the last one I have is uh, Maybelline. Oh, Color Sensational Vivid and Vibrant Mandarin. I guess I've been wearing this one. Really don't like the way that feels on my skin. It's like sticky. This is another old one, I think. So this is just gonna go away. So that one's done. I've also, I also think I'm going to get rid of this NYX High Voltage that I showed very briefly earlier just because um, the formula is so creamy, like it's almost too creamy, that it like gets everywhere when I wear it. Not my favorite thing to happen. So I'm actually gonna get rid of five lipsticks from this collection, uh, that Maybelline, uh, the NYX High Voltage, the uh, Shiseido, just because I have another one, this Revlon one, and then this CoverGirl, like everything's just like, okay. I'm not totally in love with it. I'm very in love with a lot of these things. So I think I could stand to lose these. And because I have a problem, I know that there are more red lipsticks in my future. Let's be real. I have pinks and nudes left to go through. Um, I don't know which one I want to do first. I have a lot of nudes that I actually have to try on my face. I am not the biggest fan of nude lipstick, but I have a lot of it. Because of that NYX advent calendar that I used during Christmas, it was like full of the liquid lingeries and they're all nude colors. So I have to try them and see if they make me look sick or not. I feel like a lot of them do. So let me know in the comments if you would rather I do the pinks first or the nudes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, do all the things, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.